Namaste. Welcome to your practice. Thank you for joining the online yoga community. Let's get started. Starting in Tadasana, your strong, quiet mountain pose. Spread your toes. Imagine you have webbing between your toes and you're stretching it, leaving space between your toes. The big toes will touch. As you press the outer edges of your feet down, take your time. Lift the inner edges of your feet. There's a gap between the ankle bones and already the legs should feel active and strong. I can already feel my quadricep muscles working. I have a little clench of the buttocks. I roll the shoulders back and relax the arms down passively by my side. I'm going to take a couple of breaths here. Please join me in and out through the nose. Inhaling. Exhaling. Be sure to squeeze all the air out. Inhaling. Fill up. Exhaling. Starting with two Saraya Namaskar. Take a quarter turn on your mat or stay facing me if that's easier. Probably I'm going to take a quarter turn on my mat. Still with my feet in Tadasana. Inhale, stretch my arms up over my head. Look at my thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Feeling once again those quadriceps engaged so I can get a stretch down the back of my legs. Inhale, look up, just align the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Step your left foot back and the left knee down. Head and chest come up. Step the right foot back to down dog. Bend your knees down to the floor. Take the elbows in. Draw the forehead, the nose down, and just slide and open through. Bend your knees, feel the abdomen engage as you draw the hips up. Toes roll under, down dog. Bring the right foot forward, the left knee down, head and chest up. And the left foot forward to meet the right, fold. Inhale, align your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, release. Take a couple of breaths in between. From down dog, when we get there, Ardha Mukhishmanasana, we're going to take Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. Inhale, stretch those arms up. Exhale, expand, fold forward. Inhale, look up, align your spine. Exhale, fold. Take the right foot back and the right knee down. And the left foot back into our down dog. When you're ready, bring the right foot forward as you turn the left foot in to a 35 degree angle. Push back through the heel. Inhale, lift your head and chest. Bring the hands back down, step back to down dog. Bring the left foot forward and the right foot in. Inhale, lift your head and chest. Feel steady. Exhale, hands down. Step back, stay nice and light in the feet. Lots of movement, easy movement in the hips. Bend your knees to the floor. Elbows in as we slide down and through. Maybe come to up dog this time. Thighs off of the floor. Roll the toes under. Back to down dog. Look through your hands this time. If you have the energy and you want to do so, hop forward and fold. Inhale, align your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Take a couple of breaths. Pause. In our next round, we're going to add in Virabhadrasana 2. A bow forward. 
with a shoulder rinse, lovely opening for the shoulders and the chest. Back to warrior two, and then we shall continue. Inhale, lift your arms, feel the stretch from the heels to your fingertips. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold, maybe jumping back this time to Chaturanga and down. Inhale, roll up for up dog. Exhale, go back, down dog. For Virabhadrasana two, step the right foot forward, left foot down. Inhale, lift, open, expand. Interlock your hands behind you, get that shoulder rinse. Exhale, bow and fold forward. Let the head drop down. This will encourage the depth. Keep lifting the hands away from the buttocks. Inhale, lift your head and chest. Open up once more for Virabhadrasana 2. Bring those hands down. Step back. Ready to do the other side. Step the left foot forward. The right foot in. Inhale. Sorry to have my back to you. Virabhadrasana 2. Interlock those hands behind you, bringing the shoulder blades together and bow forward. Inhale, lift up, back to your warrior two. Bring the hands down and step back. Good, this time, Forward into Virabhadrasana 2 and then your peaceful warrior. Right foot forward, nice light feet. Inhale and lift. Turn your top palm up, reach forward and exhale, go back. Make sure this back leg isn't weak, strengthen it. And bring the hands back down. Bring the left foot forward into your Virabhadrasana 2. Palm up, reach forward. Exhale, fall back. Back to Virabhadrasana 2. Bring the hands down and step back. Take three breaths, be steady here. Relax your shoulders. Let the head drop down. Bring both hands a little bit further. The right hand towards the midline, the left hand out to the side. Step your right foot forward. Again, I'm going to turn my back to you now, but you're going to see me go onto the outer edge of the foot. I'm going to wrap my peace fingers around my big toe. Please watch this first and then repeat because I'm going to show you a variation if this is impossible. So I'm going to roll onto the outer edge of my foot lift up my right foot and then lift my leg controlling my descent as i bring the foot down if that was too much for you you can work onto the elbow stacking one foot on top of the other and back down just give you a few minutes there just to do that, and then I'll do the other side with you. Back into down dog. Very good. Step back. Bring the left foot forward. There we go, I've already done that side. At least I can feel into my body and notice which side we've done. Wrap these fingers around your big toe. We're going to work onto the outer edge of the foot. Feel steady. And maybe you just work with the intention of picking up this foot. Maybe one day it will happen. So when you're ready, lift the foot. Maybe here's enough for you. Maybe you straighten the leg. Control your descent. There we go. Step back. Excellent.
Excellent. Come forward to Chaturanga. Exhale down. Inhale for up dog. Exhale for down dog. We're going to take hard back on asana now, so maybe you want to swing the leg this time. Lift the right leg up, swing it up and through. As I ground down through my back foot, I'm nice and low, so I'm going to take the right arm under the thigh, bring it around my back and the other hand round to meet. Now if you can't, just keep the hand parallel to the side of your body, but keep bringing that left shoulder back. Release your hands to the floor. Step the right foot back. Swing the left leg up. Bring it through to your hands. Ground down through that back foot. Once again, you're nice and low. So sink down through the hips. Left arm underneath left thigh. And bring the right hand round behind you. Release your hands, step the left foot back. Very good. Let's bend the knees. Take a little rest here before we continue on to the next part. Coming back onto your hands and your knees, back into Adho Mukha hips up, head down. Good, and then we're going to take half Vakonasana, then straighten the leg for a version of Trikonasana, and then we'll take Prabhrita Trikonasana. So bring the right foot forward, good, the left foot in, down deep for your Paj Vakonasana. Be very careful with the knee here. If you can, gently straighten the leg. Release your hands. Bring the hands down to the floor. Make sure that the hips square now. Bring the left hand across the body. You can either leave the right hand at the hip or you can revolve, chest up, arm up. Bring both hands down and step back. Good. Bring the left foot forward, right foot in. Stay nice and low, use that depth. Left hand behind you, right arm round the back, or it can stay parallel to the body. If you wish, straightening gently that front leg. Then coming into Prabhrita Trikonasana, as I just work my back foot in to allow me to square the hips, bring the right hand across, if that doesn't, you can use a brick if you want, or you can just hold the outer edge of the calf. And I lift my right arm, chest to ceiling. Bring both hands back down to the floor, step back, down dog. So again, after that little sequence, just take a little breather. Surrender, let go. And when you're ready, onto your hands and your knees. Roll the toes under, down dog once more. Lots of down dogs today. Mm. Walk the feet to behind the hands. And bring the hands forward. As you bring the knees to the back of the arms, 
Press the weight down. Now, this might be enough for you, just rocking forward here. That might be plenty. Maybe you pick up one foot, maybe the other. Maybe you rock forward and pick up both feet. Maybe you bring the crown of the head down to the floor. If that's enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, really engage the abdominal muscles. Push up into your tripod head balance. Ready to come back down. Back of the knees, onto the back of the arms. Push up. And release back down. Good. Well done if you accomplished that or if you're on your way. Even if it was the first time you picked up one toe. Good work. Take the feet a little wider now to the width of your mat and come down into a lovely squatting position. And just steady yourself once more if you've been working with the inversion there. Bring the hands back down to the floor, straighten your legs, bring the feet back to hip width, wrap your peace fingers round the big toes, inhale, look up, take a concave in the back, shoulders draw back, and then exhale, fold yourself down. From here, finally with the standing, take a standing split. So bring the hands to a triangle with the foot being the tip of your triangle. Step the left foot back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold yourself as you bring the hands towards the feet. Gently release that foot back to the floor. As we step over to the other side, walk the hands forward, walk the right foot back, inhale, exhale. And gently release. Very good. Take a ragdoll with the arms. Take a nice deep bend in the knees here. Just hanging out. Very good. Final down dog. Maybe taking it, or definitely taking it into flip dog. Maybe into Urva Danyarasana your wheel position. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to bring myself to the right of my mat here first. I'm going to take a flip dog, lift my foot, lift my arm, press my feet down, open my chest. If I want to come into my wheel, bringing both hands down. If you have to roll down from here, then please do. Otherwise, back to your down dog. To make sure I have enough space on the other side, I'm going to walk across to my mat here. Flip like so. Feel comfortable. If you want to go into your wheel, then do. Otherwise, staying here is just fine. Don't feel you have to do anything. Don't force, don't strain. Certainly don't cause yourself an injury. And flip back. Good, yoga's a journey, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. We have this lifetime. We have several more lifetimes probably to continue our practice. Good, bend your knees to the floor. 
and then we're going to take our legs up the wall if you have a wall nearby or an unsupported Viparita Karani. So when you're ready, we're going to butt our butt up to the wall, spin the legs up, I'm going to come away from the om sign because I don't want to put my feet on the om sign. That's just fine. I can just relax here. Want to take longer here then just press pause restart when you're ready otherwise I'm bringing my thighs to my chest I'm going to roll to the right good come into a seated position move my fleshy parts away from the sit bones Dandasana take a gentle twist to the right especially if you went into the back bend from your flip dog before we work into Paschmottanasana, our forward seated fold back to centre, back to the other side back to centre, arms parallel with the floor exhale, extend forward look at your big toes as long as the shoulders are drawing back not hunching forward so if we're like this just come back be disciplined here would be just fine inhale back up just to ease the bottom forward slightly, bring your hands back. It's a nice way to come into our boat pose. Shoulders roll back, breastbone lifts. Lift your legs, find your balance. Remove your arms, straighten the legs if you can. Maybe bringing the legs up the back, the hands up the back of the legs. Gently release the legs down, going into Purv Bhattanasana finally, hands behind you, shoulders roll back, breastbone lifts, inhale, lift, let the head come back, toes down, hips up, and gently down. Just hug the thighs in to the chest. Very good. As ever, I will leave you in your relaxation, your corpse pose, Shavasana. Take as long as your time allows. Definitely 10 minutes, maybe more. Please join us again on at the online yoga community very soon. Post your pictures, your videos. Please share. Everybody in this world can be an inspiration. To others. I hope I've inspired you today with your practice. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for sharing. Namaste.